Wilson v. Lane, 1999. In 1992, the federal government launched Operation Gunsmoke, a special national fugitive apprehension program in which U.S. Marshals worked with state and local police to apprehend dangerous criminals. One of the targets of this operation was Dominic Wilson, who had violated his probation and was considered dangerous. The government database listed Wilson's address as a home in Rockville, Maryland. However, unknown to the police, this was the home of Wilson's parents. After securing an arrest warrant for Wilson's arrest, police officers went to the parents' house with representatives of the media. When police entered the house at 6.45 a.m., they found Wilson's parents barely dressed. The police mistakenly believed that the father was Dominic and restrained him. A reporter for the Washington Post took numerous photographs. Wilson's parents sued that the presence of the media with the police was a violation of the Fourth Amendment. The case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In an eight to one decision, the Supreme Court ruled that the police search, while being accompanied by the media, was a violation of the Fourth Amendment. The court ruled that having the press present when executing a warrant was an invasion of privacy and served no purpose during the search.